So that day of shooting started very early. I wanted to get to the Meiji Jingu as early as possible and I was staying quite far from it. So that translated in setting my alarm at 4.40 a.m. And yeah, just uh, getting ready as quick as possible and jump on the train, which got me there at roughly 6 a.m. If you also consider shooting at the Meiji Jingu uh, without the crowds, you will have to do the same, I guess. It is another very popular spot in Tokyo and crowds are coming from quite early in the day. Of course, I also love shooting in more busy environments with a lot of people, even a lot of tourists. But I'm more focused on shooting people, moments and emotions. But in such a scenic place like the Meiji Jingu, I really wanted to get clean shots or some photos where I would include only one single uh, human subject into them. Which, you guessed it, is not really possible past 8 a.m. I would say. trying something different in terms of composition. I am placing the main subject in the bottom right corner, which is this um, toli, the entrance of the, of the of the temple. And I have a lot of negative space with the dark trees that is supposed to draw the viewer's eye to the subject. Now we have also people walking by, so it's a bit more interesting maybe. As you can see, I was not very lucky with the weather, but I think it worked quite well to create moodier shot with a lot of greens. And actually for the first half an hour, there was almost some sort of fog or mist or just like very light rain that created some, some atmosphere. Or maybe my glasses were just too dirty, I don't know. But anyway, in this video, you will see me utilize a lot of very standard composition techniques like the rule of thirds or symmetry. I think they are really well known and established because they simply work. I also tried a few times to get lower to the ground to get a different perspective and that's typically what you would hear from someone suggesting doing so um, to compose your shots and that's correct but if we think a little bit further it's also a very good way to completely change the balance between the room occupied by the ground and the sky in your photos if there is nothing very interesting on the ground you can get lower and add more emphasis on the other part of your scene and especially like the one with the gate far in the middle getting lower really allowed me to create a ton more negative space with the tree in the upper part of the image which I found more interesting than having Having it split equally between the, the ground and the trees.
during my one week stay in Tokyo, I was able to have really long, full days of shooting day after day, which didn't happen in a long time, I feel. The stay was long enough to experience different parts of the city, but at the same time, it was not long enough for me to dedicate full days to editing and working on the side. It was really um, one week dedicated to shooting, which I really enjoyed. But at the same time, I don't want you to believe that I can sustain eight hour plus of shooting without break. I typically go for bursts of 90 minutes up to two hours and a half of very focused shooting and then take a break, whether it's coffee, a snack or lunch, depending on the time of the day. And I don't set a specific time for my break, 30 minutes or one hour. I just take them until I get bored from scrolling my phone on low speed Wi-Fi then I get naturally excited again and motivated to go out and shoot and I simply go out I'm in a place now where I feel more comfortable with that mindset I know that when taking breaks I may miss a few opportunities but I know that the time I will be shooting I will enjoy myself more and that I will be able to focus more than if I were shooting non-stop
in the second part of the day since I started the day so early I was running out of battery on my Fuji so at the end I mixed a few shots from my Sony so I'm quite curious to know if you could see the difference and if not it would confirm my opinion that you can get really good colors and good photos with just any camera system. That's gonna be it for today's video. See you next time. Bye.